Hi friends, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, there's been some updates to Sew Art and I just want to apologize because I have not been in the Sew Art world really for a little while. I've been doing stuff here and there but I haven't really like paid attention to the updates or anything like that at all. I haven't asked for anything. I haven't like been communicating with SNS or anything like that for changes. I've just kind of let it do its thing and um and somebody recently I posted the the stitch out um list like the desired list and stuff and uh, Tim Dugan or Duggan I hope I'm not messing up your name in the sew art group um told me that there was a cross stitch option so I went into it last night and checked it out and it's so cool it's not perfect but it's still really, really, really cool. All right, so let's, I'm gonna um, go ahead and create a graphic for it and um, show you guys kinda, we'll do a stitch out to see what it looks like, but we're, we're fumbling together. That's what I'm getting at here. I've done a couple like um, pre-digitized tryouts and stuff, but every time it's different. So um, let's get into it. We're going to create our own shapes right here in Sew Art. We're going to go over here to the Shapes tool. Come down here. You can pick any shape you want, but I always like to work with the heart. I love love. Okay. And click OK. Let's go ahead and crop that. Can we do it like that? Ooh. I've always done each side. Never thought about even trying to do it like that. <laughs> Okay, click OK. Let's go ahead and change the color in the middle just because. I always like to come in here and sew art and just redo the colors just in case it didn't um, fill in everything when it created the, the beginning image, especially with images I have to bring in from other programs. All right, so we're done creating this. We can check the size. And mine has to be 3.89 or less, and we are. So I'm going to choose OK. And you can check your colors. There should only be three colors. Click OK. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click Stitch Image. I'm having a lot of allergies today, so I'm really sorry for all the sniffling and grumbling. Okay, so we're gonna, right here's our normal fill stitch. The cross stitch is new. If you check any of my videos previous to this, you're not gonna see this. Outline border, outline center line, applique center line. All of that is great. Down here in the um, default, we have a boatload more, but I'm getting off track. Let's go back over here to the cross stitch. So whenever I chose the original, um, the the default that it came, the 2 and 20, it froze up my computer. And it will probably freeze up yours too. This is a brand spanking new computer and it still got all froze up because it's like 200,000 stitches when you do it like that. So go up here to, up here you can use that or you can just type in, 20. That has been the best setting that I've seen so far. The length over here, it doesn't make any difference at all. The angle does make a difference, so if you want to play around with that, you can. It's not going to look like traditional cross stitch, but it's still going to give you a cool effect. Um, but we're just going to zoom, we're going to focus on doing this. And now, like I said at the beginning, it's not perfect, and it's probably also I'm not perfect. <laughs> I haven't figured out to make it perfect. So, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit wonky. So the reason I chose the shape with the outer color is so that we can do a satin stitch around it to kind of lock in the cross stitch. But I did do like a pair of lips last night and it did the outline perfect. So I think it just depends on the shape and, you know, you're going to have to mess around with that. I'm going to mess around with it too. Okay. So when you choose 20, you get nice squares and as you can see right up here it went over and like it kind of went high like the the cross the graph had to go high and then down here it doesn't quite even reach the edges so we can do clear stitches and try over 
It looks like it just did the same exact thing. Yeah, we're going to get the same effect each time. Sometimes that changes whenever you're using different fill options. Okay, so to kind of cover up these wonky edges, we're going to go up here to outline center line. We're going to come over here and choose satin. And we are going to have that go up to... Oh, why can't I remember? I literally made a video and wrote a document about this, and I can't ever remember height length between bean stitch and satin stitch. So I just fumble. That's obviously not it. So let's go ahead and clear that. We'll go 40 and 2, and this is going to be much better. You want to start it in the most even place and usually I would say start it where there's like a flat spot which we might still do it but you could also start it down here so that way it gets started it's thinking and thinking and then it you know it thinks about doing this curve if you put the satin stitch right in the middle in the curve it's going to give you flatness it's not going to think about how to round that curve it's going to end and start there so you want to end and start somewhere where it can be flat so it can consider those curves. Okay, so um, this is what it's gonna look like and you can see it's still out on the edges a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. But like I said, I'm green at this and learning it. So hopefully there's a way to kind of fix that. Oh, and no, we can fix it in Sew What Pro. We can just erase them. So in Sew Art, this is just, you know, putting a satin stitch around it if you can is gonna kind of close it in. So this is all, this is it, this is, we're done. If you've had questions about how to remove these numbers when you're doing digitizing, there's a little button right here. You can click on that and get rid of the numbers for you. Go back to normal, okay? And then from here, you are gonna wanna go to file, save as, it's gonna come up and ask you if you want an image, and I don't wanna save the image because I can recreate it, recreate it endlessly. Um, and then here's the actual PES file or whatever file you need. Let's see, we'll do heart, cross, stitch. <laughs> I can't type today. Okay, let's put that on the desktop. Heart, cross, stitch. Put it on the desktop. Sorry, that was so loud. So it's easy to see. So over here in the corner, it gives you kind of an idea of what it's supposed to look like, but it's still pretty cartoony. So you don't have to continue watching, but I am going to open this up into Sew so It Pro and see what it looks like with the texture on. So let's find it. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> it is a little wonky and weird. Like it, it's not total, let's get in closer. Maybe I should have chosen red for that bottom color. Oh, look at that. Now you can see everything. And then we'll choose yellow for that. There you go. All right, so as you can see, if you're using a contrasting color, it's gonna pop out over there. You can keep increasing your satin stitch, but it's just gonna get weird at some point. <laughs> but in any case, I hope that you found this um, helpful. I'm really excited about this option. I'm excited to try more, to do more stitch outs and try to figure out how to best get these to stay in that spot Let's go ahead and delete this and see what it looks like by itself. That's so adorable. You don't even have to put that around it because it's cross stitchy enough. If you do need to get rid of something, like say this part right here, you have, in, I don't know how to do it in Sew Up 
sew art. I don't know if you can, but in Sew It Pro, you choose an eraser and then you just come down and erase it. It's so cool. You can erase all these extra little flags, but I think they're cute. All right, so then you choose close, yes, and boom. That is freaking adorable. All right, I hope that this was super helpful. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Okay, friends, I'm over at my embroidery machine. I have a Brother SE 425. And it has a 4x4 hoop, that's why I'm limited on the hoop size. <clears throat> Excuse me, not complaining, just saying that that's why I had to make it only 3.9. Alright, so I loaded up the cross stitch design and I got my stabilizer hooped. The stabilizer I use is just garden fabric whenever I'm practicing. Um, this is just the roll of, it's 100% polypropylene, it's not treated, it's just plastic fabric um, but it's very fabricy. it doesn't take heat though so don't do it with anything that you have to do heat on <clears throat> anyways so then I just grabbed some felt because we are just doing um, a demo I guess I've never seen the cross stitch stitch out and if you haven't either we are in this together here we go Hey, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, that's so annoying. My fantastic bobbin thread is running out. And I knew it was going to happen. I was just hoping we had enough time. And we don't. And I don't want to put you guys through the whole... I, gosh, I really wish that... Well, this is just a demo. It's not a tutorial. It looks like it's doing a spectacular job. Actually, you know what? Let's click close. Cut the thread. Let's pop this baby out. I'm not going to finish this because it was really just a test and you guys will have to sit here while I do things. So, um, it looks like it didn't go up the top like it looked like it was going to. So that's cool and it looks like it's pretty even on both sides. I guess maybe not. So, you know, it's going to take a lot of getting used to and figuring out different what kind of fabrics work best with cross stitch and all that different stuff. 
um, what shapes work best with it and things like that. But overall, I'm super impressed and extremely excited. I can't wait to see ah, what else we get to do with this. And um, if you guys do some designs, good or bad, put them on the group on Facebook, okay? See you later.